This VOD will be recorded right on your channel. Oh, yeah. I could just rip it. Okay, sweet. And just like that, away we go. Hey, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Rillian. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today is an extra special stream. I always love doing things like that. We have a special guest on, Chris, who is a project lead of a new game called Bo. And they are actually launching their Kickstarter campaign today. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the trailer in just a little bit. We're going to be playing the alpha build of the game, so bear with us. It's it, it's an alpha build, but it looks so good. I played a little bit before stream uh, just to make sure everything would work, and it's good. It's good. Just, just a little. It's good. Um, so, Chris, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. It's been a long day. I'll yes. tell you that right now. Yeah. Oh, I believe We just it. launched our Kickstarter, and... Uh, Man, I and I had to do a lot of last minute stuff right before, including like doing a mock up of the art book, which yes. you recommended that we ha we have for a game. You said it was like a must have, so we we banged that out right real quick. Hey chat, real quick, how many of you would be interested in an art book, either digital and or physical? Like how how cool is that? Like if you're backing a Kickstarter, like is an art book like a cool is that is that a cool uh reward? for backing. I personally, I think it's really cool, especially when you can see like the way things develop over time. Like what did the character look like before it got to what the character is now? Um, yeah, really I'm cool. real excited. And you know, actually what pushed me over the edge to do the, to like do the art book and like actually get it done was Crowsworn's like mock-ups for their art book. It just looked so sick. Yes. And I was like, yeah, I just want to make something that cool. Chat is going wild for the art book. Real quick, I just want to say hello, Violet and Martin. Uh, let's see. Rium, Clarkatron, welcome back. Sam, Cat, B, Marth, Garbo, literally unplayable. Guys, thank you all for being here. We're going to have a good time. Uh, real quick, I want to show the Kickstarter page. There's a link in the description. I will also share it. Hopefully, it, it gets shared over to chat when I press that button. They're already halfway funded, and it just launched. Let's see. It's 10 a.m. now. It's been five hours, I believe. And they're halfway funded, yeah. so go check this out. Um, oh, so we're going to play this alpha demo. Is the alpha demo going to be available on Steam for anybody and everybody to play and check out, or, or how is that going to work? We're, we're going to have the demo available. It's to be announced, basically. We're kind of feeling things out. Um, but we will definitely be in a Steam Next Fest. Uh, I'm not sure which. It's definitely not the one that's happening right now, I think. Yeah, there's uh, a one in February if it hasn't already started. I, I don't I don't know. There's Steam Next Fest. I thought that was later this month. Yeah, I think it is this month. Um, our original plan was to like launch in tandem with the Steam Next Fest, but it wasn't. Some people told us it wasn't recommended to do that. Um, just because you can only be in one Steam Next Fest now. Oh, so you okay. You gotta choose really carefully. Guys, if you you when you get here, make sure to check out the music. You're gonna hear the music, absolutely beautiful. It is, it is so good. We'll we'll check this out. Uh, maybe after the demo, we'll we'll come back here and uh, check out the music. After we do the, uh, maybe after we do the trailer, we'll we'll do some quick AMA, and then uh, we'll jump into we'll we'll jump into the demo. And hey, chat, what do you think? Maybe maybe I can convince Chris to to release this alpha demo before the end of the Kickstarter, so you can try it before backing it. What do, what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> no, we'll no, see. no pressure, no pressure. Just uh, there, there's a couple of people who are asking if they're gonna be able to play it. So, anyways, all right. So that's if that. You join our, if you join our Discord, um, there's a higher possibility that you'll be able to play it. I'll just say that. Ooh. <laughs> Because um, we already have a lot of people playing it on our Discord, um, testing it out and stuff. They've ah, been really helpful. Good, good stuff. Uh, and there you go. There's Christopher right there. Um, let's go ahead. Let's uh, show off the the. I haven't even seen this uh, demo yet. Um, is that quiet? That is quiet. Uh, let's check out the trailer real quick, and then we'll uh, we'll jump into. You guys can ask some questions. Uh, Chris is watching the YouTube chat. Um, and then we'll go from there. Hopefully this isn't too loud. If anything, I'll bring it up a little bit. Brother, do you mind if I pop the, your Kickstarter referral link in the chat? Oh, I got it. 
Oh, you got it. Okay. Sorry. I got a hotkey. Ah. Stream deck? Yep. Yes, sir. There it is. Yeah, thanks, uh, Sphinxy. You like the look of the characters? Yeah, a lot of her characters are just, are well. I'm inspired by like Pokemon, the Pokemon series, and oh, okay. Uh, Studio Ghibli. You, if you're a Studio Ghibli fan, you you'll definitely like see some similarities and influences. And it looks like there. Uh, I think you've you've said or mentioned that there, we're going to be doing a lot more pogoing. Uh, like that that's going to be like a, a real big staple of this is being kind of up in the air and flying around a little bit more acrobatic right, maybe what i mean yeah one of the best things about holland i don't i'm sure you might agree was the pogo and uh, i feel like uh they could have it was almost like a secondary thing for like high, more higher skilled players um, but I felt like there could, there's hey, so much more I'm you can Chris, do with it. So I, of bow, it's, 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 it's not a central mechanic in bow, but it's uh, a fun thing to do in bow. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Twitch side of the house is asking for the link to discord. Um, let me okay, see. I got you. Yeah. Could you do that? That'd be great. There's a discord link. Yeah. I got all my links stream decked up. Okay. Did you share that on? Uh, Twitch or YouTube? On YouTube. I put it on YouTube. Oh, should I get on Twitch too? If you're able to. Oh, you're probably not able to share links. Uh, can you just say hello? And then if I make you a mod, it could probably get you to share links. On Twitch? Okay, I gotta get on Twitch real quick. I'm just Or even YouTube. if you put it on YouTube. Yeah, uh. <clears throat> should be on YouTube. I wonder if it's auto blocked. I just don't see it. Here, I'm getting on your Twitch right now. All right. Yo, Greasons Productions. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I pasted something from my clipboard that wasn't supposed to be there. Let's see. How do I? I'm the worst mod ever. No worries. We're just enjoying the the moonlight. That's right. So hopefully my computer will so man unfortunately it does look like it's a little bit uh laggy coming through chat does it look do the jumps and stuff does it look like we're at like five fps right now that's what it kind of looks yeah. like on my obs unfortunately it looks fine like when i'm playing it it looks great it's it's coming through just fine but oh i wonder if i can stop this replay buffer maybe that'll help too. stop replay buffer Unfortunately, you're one of the first streamers to kind of, you're you're literally the first streamer to stream this, so we have no experience what it, what it might be like. So we didn't know that it would be an issue with OBS and stuff. Yeah, I think. Let's see. Let me try and get this going again. Maybe if I close it and open it back up, we can get something going. Uh, bow. What is up, Thomas F? How is everyone doing? Are you guys excited? Are you guys excited? <coughs> when I tested Alex the... Toon... What's that? Oh, Alex Toon said, I hope there's a Totoro-inspired character because he's your favorite character. There is a Totoro-inspired character. He's actually in the trailer. Oh, he's yeah. That, uh, he's that giant red-faced macaque you see chilling in that hot spring. Yes. Okay, it looks a, a little bit better, maybe. Not great. Yeah, sorry, guys, if it's a little laggy. I promise you it runs a little bit smoother uh, when you're not streaming. Yeah, I, th I, th I think it's on me. I might I might need to upgrade my graphics card, get one of those, like, 3090s or something. So. But it, it I, what I really like about the game so far is already the controls are, like, super tight. Um, and I don't know what it is. I just love the little roll from the fox every time. And is yeah, it? Yeah, the roll was a little bit of a later edition, but I love it too. It's just, it's just fun to watch. Um, and then are we, are we a fox or is that a different kind of animal? So actually, Bo is an original. Uh, let me explain like what a yokai is. Yes, Maybe please. You've heard of yokai. Yeah, a yokai is like a supernatural spirit in Japanese folklore. And they could be anything from like a sentient umbrella to like a giant pig wall 
I mean, it, actually, a lot of Pokemon are based on uh, yokai. But uh, basically, they're just like cool, cool little mischievous spirits. And Bo is an original yokai that I created, and it's called a Tentaihana, which means celestial blossom. So the idea is that, like, they grow from a flower, mm -hmm. and it, it happens when the tear of a god germinates the seed of a, of a flower-bearing plant, and it blooms into, like, an animal that's usually in that environment, and it usually has, like, the garment of a flower or something. So you actually, you see this character here, Asahi. Mm -hmm. Asahi is also a Tentaihana, uh, and his flower cloak is like a sunflower, while Bose is a lotus. Ah, okay. So there's some interesting lore going on. I love it. I love it so much. And then we get this. We get. We get our teapot. Yeah. So tea is like a kind of a central thing in this game. Like you're you're collecting uh, these fox fire, fox flame, mm -hmm. and uh, brewing all kinds of different teas. Like gathering some ingredients to make some special teas and gain abilities or uh, heal. Also, pretty central to the game. Very cool. I'm a huge tea buff. Are you really? Like normally? Yeah. Oh yeah. Coffee, tea, caffeine. Caffeine runs the show. Yo, that thing is so cool in the background. I don't know what it is, but seeing just giant mega sized enemies, it just, it, it gives me goosebumps like every time. Yeah, that's actually, um, that's actually a yokai as well. It's called a Gasho Dokoro. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. And it's basically a giant skeleton that kind of wreaks havoc on, on Japan. Is it just and we kind of made it okay. look, we kind of made it look Godzilla-like as well. You could see like the spikes on the back. Is it is it uh something that everyone can see, or is it a spirit and like not everyone can see it? Uh yeah, well in folklore, yeah, people are able to see it. Okay. And uh, it's kind of I don't know if you watch Attack on Titan. I I have not. Yeah. I need to. Like I know what it is, you know, it, but it's so good. I want to. It's one of the best animes out there. Um, but yeah, he's based off of the Colossal Titan, kind of like his animations are kind of based off the Colossal Titan, and, and a lot. Some of Bo, Bo, Bo's move set is based off like Attack on Titan as well. How many of you guys watch Attack on Titan in the chat? Yeah, sorry for the frame rate, guys. That's on me. the The frame rate on my computer looks great. It's pulling up everything just fine. But it's the when it's getting in code in doing the stream thing. I'm sorry, my my computer isn't uh, isn't beefy enough for that. Um, if it's if it's too bad, I don't know. You have you have to let me know, chat. You have to let me know if it, it's if it's just too bad. But it it can just be some background stuff, and we can talk as long as as long as our voice isn't choppy, then. It'll just be an interview with a laggy background. Yeah, I'm bit. glad it's not a. I'm glad it's not choppy on your computer because I think it'd be kind of unplayable. But if it if it were if it was like this on your computer, but let's see. Somebody says you could try and open OBS in admin mode. I don't know that that would do anything because OBS is looking fine. Let me let me see if I can't do some quick some quick stuff. The the hard part is it. Uh, yeah. It says, like, I don't know how to make the game use up less of my GPU. Like, I don't know if there's a... Other than graphics already on low, full screen. What resolution are you running at? How do, is there... How do I change it? I have no idea. Uh... Oh, maybe, actually, maybe my programmer took out that feature for this build. So it's probably on 1080p. Probably 1080p. Uh, what if I make it not full screen? Can I? Yo, that did it. No, it didn't. Oh, it went low for a second. Uh, cause I would make it smaller if I could. That would have been that would have been fine. Um. Oh, look at that! It's smooth. 
Oh, look at that. Yeah. Okay. So what we'll what we'll do is we'll just we'll just bring this up a little bit. And get rid of that white oh, so bar. So window kind of cured that. Sweet. Yeah. Hey, chat. Thank thank you. Thank you for sticking with us on that. Thanks for the help, chat. Keep in mind it's an alpha build, and uh, we're we're still working. Can I hit like here. Alt Alt F four, and then that'll make it go full screen? Uh. Right. Not Alt F four. That might cause some problems. <laughs> is it, it's Alt Enter. Okay. Uh, yeah, Alt Enter. Alt Enter. Okay, there it is. It, I wasn't sure see. if you were joking about I, the Alt oh, F four. That did not, and then that instantly made it worse again. Okay, are we better now? Okay, yeah. So, so we have to have the white bar at the top. It'll, it'll be okay. No it, it's it'll worth, be okay. Yeah. I wonder. Actually, I wonder if I could just. I, I can I think I can do some some magic on my end where I I go like this and then I just go like this and then Ooh, uh, and then cinematic mode right here oh Get that letterbox effect. there we go Thank you, Sashwa. You then let's move our names down so it's not blocking the UI beautiful beautiful Yo, let's go. Okay. So, uh, did, did we miss any other questions? Chat, if you've got questions, feel free to ask them, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do our best to uh, get some stuff. We'll, we'll uh, get, get some questions and stuff answered. Um, Tis us, a previously foreshadowed misshapen creatures. I'm just clicking through. Sorry, squawk. A vision comes this way. See, I... Do I? A well-dressed rodent swing a colorful stick and strike this paper lantern spirit. It is then they will find themselves able to jump once again in midair. Ravings of a lunatic. Oh, okay. I always, I don't know why. I just, I feel compelled to collect everything. Uh, potential release date. We're thinking sometime in 2023. It's, it's hard to say at the moment. A lot of uh, the scope of the game is going to be dependent on how much we raise in the Kickstarter, so. Ah. It could either be a really big game or uh, a little bit more of a bite-sized game. Got it. You know, it's funny. When I did this um, off stream, I did it all not knowing that there was a, that you get a, a second jump from do, from right. down pogoing. I just, I just down pogoed everything and was able That's to do it just fine. Yeah, that's actually something we need to be a little more clear about. It's definitely an optional skill. Um, but yeah, whenever you hit certain things, those lanterns definitely, you uh. gain a reset on your jump. But also it gives you a slight uh, vertical velocity too. So you can, like, for example, try not pogoing and just hitting the lantern from the side. We'll deal with these enemies first. <laughs> oh, like like this? Yeah. Yeah, see, like that. And uh, you can kind of just stay airborne and kind of change your surroundings. So cool. I, I'm surprised that I actually missed that the last time. Because I just didn't need to do it. I didn't need right, to use that jump. Right, eventually, well, there there comes a part later on in the game where you do need to, like, progress using that ability. So you, I don't think you got to that. Uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully it reminds you later. Because otherwise I would have I would have been like, what are you talking about? How do I get there? No, but yeah, that is something we kind of need to be clear about. Our alpha testers definitely told us that. But, but I guess people just are addicted to pogoing, so they're like, I don't want to do anything else. <laughs> and what are these little leafy things that we're finding? Those are called Kodama, which are like, which translates from Japanese to wood, wood spirit. And they're just like, uh, I guess they're kind of like the grubs in Hollow Knight. Okay. Um, they don't play a purpose in the demo other than just a collectathon. Uh, but eventually they'll have more of a purpose. So I see some questions here. Does the hero have a name? Yeah, the hero's name is Bo. B O. And Bo is a Tentaihana, like I was explaining earlier. Uh, basically, Bo is a flower with a fox face. Will there be Demon, Demon Slayer inspired characters? Yes, there will. And there actually are some in the demo. Hmm. And uh, what is the staff that's being used for a weapon? 
So if you look closely at the sprite right now, uh, you can see that there's an earring that Bo has. Oh yeah? Not super noticeable, and we're gonna add some effects to it later to make it more noticeable. But the the staff is actually that earring. It kind of just transforms. So all Tentai Hana are spawned with like a a piece of jewelry that they kind of use as a weapon. Hmm. That's another part of the the lore behind our character. Am I a Hollow Knight fan? Um, I am a very big Hollow Knight fan. I know I'm not on face camera right now, but I have a Hollow Knight plush attached to my computer chair. Uh, and that's how I know Relia, actually. <laughs> Relia got me through Hollow Knight, as I'm sure he did for many of you as well. Aw, shucks. Relia, Relia raised a generation of Hollow Knight, like, god gamers. <laughs> Foxfire ability? Ooh. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, I'm completely spaced out. I'm just, I'm just enjoying the game. I'm just enjoying it. Oh, I should probably uh, say, uh, if you, if you weren't here earlier, if you haven't done so already, make sure to uh, check the Kickstarter page. Uh, link. I'll throw that in chat right now. Um, they've only been up for five hours. And they've already raised 50% of the the total uh, uh, needed for the for the Kickstarter to to go to be funded. Uh, there will be some uh, extra what do you call it goals? Uh, yeah, uh, stretch goals. Stretch goals. Yes. And uh, what what what's going on for for today and tomorrow only? The early backers, right? Yeah, so we have an early bird tier, which is the early bird Hirodama, which are actually those blue ghost enemies you see in the game. And uh, you basically get $5 off the game, and you get a wallpaper and your name in the credits. You're immortalized forever. I like healing. Is just you like drinking tea? Yeah, I really liked when I came up with that. And so currently, uh, how many people are on the on the team? So it's me, I'm the creative director, and we have Trevor Yonquist, who's our programmer. And then we have an animator, her name's Mikami Arts, who does all the beautiful animations you see. I do like some animations, but if you ever see an animation that looks kind of like off, it's because I did it. <laughs> but eventually, <laughs> eventually we're gonna have her flesh out everything a little bit better. And then we have the composer, who I'm sure you well, you've, you've already voiced that you really like the music. Oh, so, let me so just good. Out. Yeah, he is doing an amazing job. Like, his name's Moises Carmargo, and he's... We're trying... I, I love music in games, and I think you mentioned that you do too. Yes. Movies. I love... I get chills when I hear a good song, or like... It's, like, I was playing Ori recently. The music in that game is amazing. Hollow Knight, of course. And uh, it was really important to me that I got someone who who share the same passion for the music and so we're using a lot of like traditional japanese instruments like the shamisen kodo shakuhachi taiko drums um and we're blending that with like orchestral music um so it's kind of like a modern sound but like the protagonists in a lot of the songs will be these really cool tra traditional japanese instruments that you don't get to hear too often in games interesting Let's see what we got from chat. Let's see. I couldn't believe uh, I couldn't have beaten White Palace without Rally's video. Let's see, absolutely love the low frame rate animations. They had a, a sense of uh, puppery, which adds to the charm. Check out the Kickstarter. Looks awesome. Yes, do it. Check out the Kickstarter. Music is seventy one percent of the experience, in my opinion. Not only just the music, but also uh, I I don't know what it is like when like taking damage in games and stuff like that. Like it adds a lot to the the feel of the game if that makes sense like i i don't know there, there there's just some games where you, you take damage and like there's just like the sound effects let's just put that put it that way just the 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 soundscape as a whole adds so much to the game one thing that hollow knight did really well with that is uh when you get hit they like change the equalization on the on the sound yeah it's almost like uh, you're underwater a little bit it's, it's like you almost got, you like you got concussed or something yeah so it's not only you get the the visual feedback and the audio feedback and i mean they just nailed it 
Let's see. Uh, in Andre J. Uh, will there be some anime references? Anime references all over the place. Galore. Very cool. I'll, I, I'll see if you guys see any any, any in, the, in the playthrough right now, but uh, they're kind of hard to spot. I, there's there's one for sure some people will pick up on, but I don't want to spoil anything. I'll see if the chat actually picks it up. Let's see. But yeah, we're inspired by... Uh, you can see on our Kickstarter page we have like a little graphic, but we're inspired by Spirited Away, Attack on Titan, Demon Slayer, Mon Princess Mononoke, and games like Okami, and of course Hollow Knight. Uh, so, an anime is big for me. Did you say how many, uh, or, or what platforms you're planning on releasing on? Oh, right. I, I saw someone mention that. Um, PC first, as most devs know, like, that's kind of... You, you launch on PC to, to, to feel the waters and gauge the response from whatever audience you're trying to like get your game out to and then as it picks up you can start porting it but porting because porting is really expensive i didn't realize um, that yeah it's kind of unattainable for most i mean not unattainable but it's it's a big expense for a lot of indie devs that's why like you don't really see indie devs do that unless you have a publisher and we are in talks with a few pretty big publishers in, at the moment, but we're waiting to post kick, Kickstarter to kind of like really flesh out the paperwork on that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it would probably make sense to, to talk to different people to, to get an idea for sure. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, when, if you even think that you want to port to, um, uh, what do you call it? Other... Uh, platforms and stuff like that. Is that like something that you go in like programming it in a way that would make that process easier down the line or you only focus on PC and worry about that later? Right. If if you plan ahead, it's definitely a better move. <laughs> like saying, oh, I want to I definitely want to release this on different consoles. Um, but it's a lot more work, too. Hmm. So it's kind of like a give and take. But uh, porting it is, it's, you have to kind of hire people who know what they're doing with, with the consoles. And then there's all kinds of fees and you have to get uh, dev build, build kits of like the consoles and stuff. Yeah. It's a uh, complicated PC. It's like everyone has a PC. It's good. And it's kind of like you, you do your proof of concept on the PC and go from there. There's an anime reference in this scene. I don't know if anyone can see. There's a hint. It's in the bottom left. I don't know. I don't watch enough uh, anime to know. Oh, no, you got to get on that, bro. Yeah. I know. Uh, I, real quick, I want to say, uh, Shashua, thank you so much for becoming a member. And Jack Scott, 21 months as a member. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate all of the support as uh, as I move to doing this full time. Um, I really, really appreciate that. And somebody is asking about the Discord link. It's in the YouTube chat are in YouTube so let me uh let me grab that for you real quick and then we will uh we will continue on I'm uh, seeing people saying the Uzumaki cave reference is a reference to Naruto but it's actually not it's a reference Uzumaki means spiral in Japanese so if you look in this cave it's like all spiral rocks so actually um Naruto's last name means spiral uh you, actually, there's a reference here you would know in here. You see that fruit thing there? That fruit offering? The fruit offering? Uh, yes. Um, like right here? Yeah. Do you see those two little red uh, strawberries there? Yeah. Do you recognize that from a platformer? Oh, that would be uh, Celeste. Yeah. <laughs> That's so awesome. Yeah. And then the, the purple fruit is a gum gum fruit. And Andres should know that since he has a One Piece avatar. Ah. Okay, there we go. You got a two for one reference there with that fruit basket. That's so cool. I know that the, I feel like the indie dev scene can be small in a good way. Have you reached out to and, and talked with other indie devs and stuff? I, I don't know, maybe. 
Yeah, um... No, no one really big, but definitely a lot of really cool up-and-coming games. Yeah. Um, and I've met so many indie devs, like, in this past year, just on just from Twitter alone. And it's been interesting. So I I got a, just a, a little bit further than this. Okay, so we're getting into some unexplored territory now. Yeah, starting to... I see you met the armakillo enemy. Yeah, is that the uh, the thing that's rolling around? Yeah, our Discord our Discord named that enemy actually. Ah, very because cool. because the blue the blue bugs you see are armapillos, which is like armadillo and pill bug. And the red ones are armakillos because they try to murder you on sight. <laughs> uh, let's see, is this done in Unity? Nice on that Poco right there. Thank yeah, this is you. done on Unity. Um, yeah, Unity and C Sharp. I do all the artwork in Photoshop. And I believe our animator uses Procreate on the iPad. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, can you choose the Switch version at the ki as a Kickstarter bonus? Um, yeah. I th what? Yeah, so uh, our stretch goal will be a switch or okay I'll, I'll just announce this now our first stretch goal will be a, a switch port ah that's super exciting because uh, this is this is a game I could I, I would see myself more likely to play on the switch or um, yeah. I'd like like to be able to play on the go okay so that's that's where we started that was the entrance and enemies yeah, reach right at home on the switch yeah so we, we, we definitely want to put it on the switch. Boom. I do like that move. Reminds me of uh, Ori. Oop. Yeah, it's interesting. There's There's been a lot of people comparing our Ooh. game to Ori. But I actually never played Ori until recently. I'm streaming it now because people are like, you got to play Ori, man. You got to play Ori. And they're right. Ori is an amazing game. I'm having a really good time playing it. Um, but yeah, I was surprised how many similarities there were once I actually played it. Yeah. Question, uh, let's see, have your team made any other games or is this your team's debut game? Uh, we made one mobile game in the past. It's, it's like, oh, by the way, we're, we're very aware that this loading screen is ridiculously long. We're looking into it. Um, yep. So just, yeah. No worries. Uh, yeah. Uh, we made a game called Fox Phrase, which is kind of just like a catchphrase clone. Uh, it's a mobile game that's available only on Android right now, if you guys want to check that out. But, uh, it's just a word game to play with your friends. Cat and, B. Uh, uh, really hyped for this game now after seeing it. Absolutely beautiful. Might have, uh, space on my game tattoo. Uh, like the stream, fam. Yes. Guys, if you haven't already done so, please make sure to like the stream. And also check out the Kickstarter page. Uh, they are they are just crushing it right now with uh, with their funding goal, and uh, I'm 16, really excited. Sixteen point five k. You, so awesome, dude. We we had like before we even because we were, we were gonna launch at eight eight a.m. Eastern. Yeah. And I launched like two minutes early, and we were at three thousand before eight. So it was like. We're, we're on our way even before we technically told people we launched. That's so, so awesome. It's it good to see, yeah. So, Raya, have you played, like, past this part yet? Or is this totally new territory? Uh, I haven't played... I, th I think this is the room that I got it to, and then I'm like, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. So I made oh. it to this room. Okay. And, yeah, right here is where I stopped. I didn't even see this bridge. Oop! I should have jumped. I can still jump if I want to. I don't know which way I want to go, though. That's one thing about right, Metroidvania. Yeah. Sometimes I, I can't decide if I know. Oh, I'm glad you can get out of that uh, T animation pretty quickly. Yeah, we want to make things feel good and fair. Like a lot of times on games, like I get annoyed when you're locked into an animation yeah. or something. Back. So every everything in Bo is cancelable. Oh, at the interesting. Moment. 
So, like, you can cancel out of your dash at any moment. Uh, well, you don't have the dash yet, but... We'll get there. Yeah, you'll Hopefully. get there. It's coming soon. I know I've got a list of things I'm supposed to collect. I just don't know what those things are. Oop. Uh, you can check in the... Oh, yeah. Menu. Okay. I've had enough yeah, of you. Yeah, one thing, uh, and this is not just you, this is like every player, but one thing as a dev you don't really realize is like, people don't read dialogue usually. Yeah, uh, I'm, I, no, this I'm is me very too. guilty of that. Uh, this okay. is totally me too, like, and I think a lot of the chat would agree, like, do you guys read, oh, hey, Spirit Buddy, one of my, uh, Discord members. Um, I think the chat would agree, like, do you guys read dialogue in games or you just kind of just go balls to the wall? And uh, guns blazing. And also, you know. one thing for that I notice is that, uh, like, it's usually good to have like the important things, um, Your chat highlighted. Dialogue. Yeah, they're they're very much they're a lot more into the story than I am. Like, I'll 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 skip all of it. And then if I really like the game, I'll go back and get the dialogue later, or the story and the lore. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's been interesting yeah. writing dialogue. Uh, it's like I'm trying to be funny. It's like uh, sometimes doesn't work. Sometimes people don't like it. But uh, but we've gotten uh, some LOLs because I, I, we've had the alpha testers like record themselves playing, and it's so it feels so good when someone laughs at one of my stupid jokes that I throw in. Dude, so that's awesome. Yeah, I, I've been enjoying the play watching playthroughs very much. There's the loading screen of death. <laughs> this, nice. like, it only happened in this build. Like, the build before this, it loaded so quickly, and then something randomly changed. Weird. Order, order, I demand order. Who am I kidding? It's all messy recently. Ever since. No, no, no. Snap out of it, Toshi. You can do this. Deep breaths. Sorry about that. Toshi's back. Excuse me if I seem a bit far off. It's just that my precious armflilos... I have no idea how to pronounce that. Arma, arma arma pillow. pillows have rolled off again. Seem to have no ability to make anyone stay. Could you please help me find them? There are four. Above, below, I don't know. Listen for their squeals. They're probably so cold and alone without their fungal father to watch over them. Uh, quest log updated. Okay, let's go down. Let's see, Fungal Daddy, right? Let's see, he streams on kind of. But I kind of wanted him to call him. F I wanted to name him Fungal Daddy, but I thought that was a little too risque. <laughs> and the alliteration works, you know, Fungal Father. We might keep yeah. it. Yeah. It. It, it, it. I'm sure the community will call him Fungal Father or Fungal Daddy, anyways. So you don't necessarily Fungal have Daddy. to do it because <laughs> everyone will do it for you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Please memeify this game as much as you want. It's highly encouraged. So for people asking for the Demon Slayer reference, I think the first one you you can see, um, just uh, see what that armor pillow is wearing and see if you guys can uh, pick that up. Woo! Uh-oh. Boss fight? No. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Oh, that thing is the thing I'm supposed to bring back. Right, so you're collecting a... Uh, I didn't realize that's what that was. Okay, so there was another one that I saw in the top left area, and again, right, I yeah. didn't realize. I was just like, why is this here? It doesn't open any doors. Now I know. Okay. Can you hit levers with your weapon or only the ball? Only the ball. Oops. This game looks fun. Yeah, it is fun. I, I really like it. I'm enjoying the controls and everything. Uh oh. Yeah, I think one like core thing we really wanted to uh, uh, to make really good in this game is make it feel really fun just to move around and jump and hit things. Uh, and as long as that's fun, like the rest of the game just hmm. falls into place. This game on Xbox? Uh, eventually? Why not? P 
PC only right now. You gotta go check out that Kickstarter. Oh yeah. There's a link. Yeah. Been an overwhelming response so far. Thank you everyone who donated already. I know some I recognize some of these names and I know some of you guys donated. Let's we did a launch stream right before this and I, I recognize some of the names from that stream. So awesome. People are getting so hyped they can't get enough. They want more. Yeah, I think. Have, have you, uh, I, I see some of my Discord members in here too. You guys haven't even seen this, I don't think. Cause uh, some of my Discord members are alpha testers, but most of them are. Woo, perfect shot. The one thing that I'm noticing in these areas where it's having me like hit the, um, um, these levers and stuff, like I didn't have to do that. I could have, I could have just shot that thing out this way. I could have just went backwards. Right, but we actually have a trigger there that kind of kills it. Really? So you, yeah. I couldn't have gone backwards? No. Huh. I'm only doing it the you right mean, way because you you're the here. Armor out, hit the armor pillow out the right. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, and then and then went up through the top so I didn't have to hit those levers. Right. You could, uh, yeah, but we, we just have an invisible trigger there that kind of resets the object. Oh. We should probably be a, be a little bit less lazy, but I think we could get away with it. A at least for now, yeah. <laughs> for now, yeah. Like have a door close or something. Yeah, exactly. Nope. Oh, I thought I was going to block that. Oh, we've got one health. I don't even know what happens when I die because I haven't died yet. Uh-oh. Okay. Got out of there. Got out of there just in time. People complain about that little section there. They're I like, that's brutal. I went in hot. I, I was trying oh, to you, ignore you, stuff. You did well. Uh, Helmet like, Harry, Zenitsu, Zenitsu, exactly. And do you know this? Uh, do you know what this armor pillow's name is? Based on the the pattern. Oh, I didn't even see. Uh, Oop. well. Well, this is from Demon, the Demon Slayer references. Your chat, your chat definitely knows what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, there's some Demon Slayer fans in here. Zenitsu and Tanjiro. Yeah, you guys got it. Another great anime you should watch. Yeah. Wait, can it go through the room? It has to be able to go through the room, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it'll be down there. Just made a pledge on Kickstarter. Thank you, Waffles193. Yo, thank you, Waffles. That's huge. Man. Oh, Inosuke, exactly. You guys guessed the name. You guys are true fans. We got some anime nerds up in here. Hell yeah. Uh, Shashua, I use uh, an Xbox controller whenever I'm on PC. Just because it's, it's so easy. It's just designed to be able yeah. to do that. Uh, let's see. We've got... Oh, there you are. How'd you get over here? I also like that when I hit this thing three times, it still stays as a, a blue ball that I can just run over and hit it again right away without having to wait and like do a three strike again. I can just run over, hit it, run over, hit it, run over, hit it. I don't, it's just a little thing that makes life easier. Right, and we're still tweaking how to make that feel better. There's been some design problems regarding the Herma pillow and how long it stays as a ball and the three hit thing. Uh, we're, we're continuously like taking feedback from our testers and just making it feel fair and making it feel good and skillful. There's like some skill expression for sure. Yeah. Yeah, when I came through here, like I said, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know I was supposed to bring this guy over there. Let's see, what's the... Uh-oh, and he, he going. Done with uh, Pokemon already? I, no, I am not. Oops. Yeah, how, how many hours did you log into Pokemon so far? Oh, kind of a lot. Uh, yeah, I saw you were going hard. Oh, no! I keep going back in there. <laughs> okay, I, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to cheese it and go further when I can just do that. There's a little that. technique that uh, you can use called wall bashing. Uh, that's kind of what we named it, where you kind of like hit the armor pillow against the wall and like reconnect while it's still blue. Yeah. 
and kind of just use it to infinitely wall climb. Oh, interesting. It's an interesting, yeah, it's an interesting technique that we don't know if we're going to keep, but it's kind of interesting. And then also, it looks like I get my 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 second jump back when I do that too, you right? Know, you got, look at that, yeah. So every time you, uh -oh. you bat an enemy, uh, you reset your jump. So basically everything kind of resets your jump. So our game is really hyper-focused on staying airborne. Uh, maybe not so much the tutorial area, which is the area you're playing right now. But eventually, you're going to be chaining a lot of movement together and staying airborne, fighting in the air, resetting jumps. Uh, all kinds of cool movements. Oop. Yeah, good. You got some ball wall bashing in there. Yeah. Nice. Mike Abby says, can you tell how much enemy there is in the game or an average number? Currently? Oh, man, I don't even know the answer to that question. Uh, in this build, I think there's seven unique enemies but this is just the tutorial area and there's like three npcs like core npcs yt yt can you please ask squid if there's a rengoku it's Ren my goku. favorite character. oh well you can look at uh toshi and kind of pretend he's rengoku <laughs> They all came back. Did you have something to do with it? Ever since I met you, things are looking up. Here, I want to keep you to have this. We got the key! Let's go! Uh, somewhere above there, I had to lock away a particularly unimaginable armor pillow. Can you check up on it for me? Hmm. Sounds like a boss fight! Yo, uh, Rally, they're asking uh, for the Kickstarter look again. Yep, there it is. Easy. It takes it takes a second. Right, the stream deck takes a second to pace, right? So uh, only on on YouTube. On Twitch, it's instant. I don't know why. Oops. But that's Get okay. That pro pogoing. Are there gonna be different weapons, or are we just gonna have this staff? I imagine it'll probably upgrade or something. Right, so your staff, since you're, it's, I think maybe some people weren't here when I said this, but the, it's an earring actually that turns into the staff. So it's a shape-shifting piece of jewelry. Uh, uh, so so you, even when, when you when attack, it's the earring's gone. Yeah, when you attack, the earring disappears from the sprite. We're, we're gonna eventually make it a little more clear that that's what's happening. Uh, but yeah, so the earring can shape shift, so it can shape shift into different weapons. That's kind of like the, the idea there. So there's not really different weapons, but they're all the same weapon, but it's shape shifting. <laughs> all right, you ready for this, Raya? Oh yeah. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, you. Oh, there you go. And there, and oh, missed it. Where is it? There you go, right there. Oh, I better heal. They want you to do this hitless or healless. Heal? Oh, uh, did I heal once already, or did I? Oh, I think I just saw you. Heal. But um, I know I started the healing animation. I don't know if I finished healing. Right? That. No, I don't think it, I don't think it finished. Yeah. You'll hear a little ding. Yeah. Ding when, it, when it works. Oop. Uh, okay. Okay. Oop. There we go. Oh, it keeps dodging. Oh, oh no. One hit left. Woo. Right there. Oh, got another one. Another one. Oh, and another one. Let's go. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. Phase two. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, look at that chain. Yeah. I think I'm a little lagged on the stream. Yeah, yeah. it's it's doing uh, good. Ah. Damn, you picked up uh, the skill set real nice. You're chaining this back. No! Like a... <laughs> I was doing good. It, it, I just, if I didn't take those two hits early on, I, I think I could have had it. No, nope. I mean, that was your first try. You had no idea what was going on, right? Yeah. We'll get it. We'll get it. Very beautiful. I didn't get that far in my first try with that boss. 
Oh, what? It didn't. It didn't grab. That was weird. Uh, it helps. Um, yeah, this is another thing we kind of is in the dialogue, but can be missed sometimes. Woo! Dang. If you hold B while you're approaching it, it it's works a lot better. Got it. Oh, yeah, nice. I think I think I'm do yeah I'm pressing B late and I think that's like an Ori thing. Like Ori was very uh, bad when it came to the timing of the stuff, or not bad, but it, it could be touchy. Yeah, it's actually no! interesting how how this kind of is similar to Ori's bash in a way, even though I mean it's like a baseball bat, so it feels different than the bash from Ori, but. Yeah, there's no relation, really. I, I didn't reference that attack at all when we were designing it. And we got to work on some of the RNG Woo! here. Because uh, it, uh, maybe some people don't know this, but in, in a lot of games where there's like randomness involved, they actually don't use true randomness. You use like pseudo random. Because sometimes random doesn't feel random to players. Yeah. So it kind of feels bad when rocks are like, you see like 10 rocks fall on the other side. He's like, where are my rocks on this side? Uh oh! 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 I didn't know there was things down there! The, it's because it's, I can't see the bottom of the screen. Oh no. Oh, you haven't been playing with the bottom of the screen? I thought that was just for the stream. Uh, I ca yeah, because the bottom of the screen I, I noticed was clipped. Uh, it's because uh, it the because the toolbar is uh right okay covering it up a little bit. Oh, I can just can I just how do I make my toolbar go away? Uh, I thought I could just drag it and bring it down. So this is uh, how do I do this? Thank you for backing Skelly Cats. That's awesome. You got the plushie too. Thank you. Yeah, the plush was. So I have this cute. at the bottom, <laughs> so so that little bit I couldn't see the enemy. That's okay. Yeah, there's two down there that spawn in the third phase. Hmm. I shall I shall defeat the boss without without healing. Challenge accepted, chat. Or says the combat looks so good. Yeah, it feels it, good too. It does. It really does. It looks like he's taking damage even from my my normal hits, but it probably well, just does, does more damage from the blue. Yeah, the, the rocks, the rocks I, I believe, do four pips or four HP damage, and your hit just does one. Ah, okay. Um, so realistically, it's more effective to just auto attack, but it is more fun to do this way, and sometimes batting will help you stay in the air when you want to be in the air. Does, like his Oof. weird like movements. Oh, double hit. It's actually, an interesting kind of like speed tech here is like bow attacks faster in the air because you don't have to go through his one two three combo. So if you ah. jump and spam your attack, you can actually get the GPS down. So that also goes along with our stay in the air, always stay in the air. Ah, okay. Gameplay. You see, it kind of like, oh, no, no. Like okay. machine gun type energy. I think you might need a heal, Relia. I think no! Need a heal. I refuse! It's only our third. <laughs> nope. Oh. Bo's looking a little sleepy Rush. there. Oh. Is this game viable? Uh, you, can, you can back it on Kickstarter and you will be able to play it. Uh, yeah, once we have a beta out. access tier. However, uh, we, we've only been developing the game for a year. And uh, we just got the first little tutorial section ready and like in a, in a fair enough state that we can release it and have some people stream it. So, But we have a ton of areas in the, in the works. We got haunted bathhouses. We got lotus groves. We got... Uh, like a Mount Fuji type area. Kind of like a 
a Mamasi. I don't know if you guys know much about Japan, but kind of like Fushimi Inari, like those red Kitori games and stuff. It'll be a nice, fleshed out, cool world based on Japanese folklore. Lindsay, thank you. This game is gorgeous. You need to know if, if Switch picked it up. Yeah, again, we'll, we'll, we really want to put it on Switch. It's just a matter of if there's enough interest. Uh, Chrysanthemum says in Ori, you get sent in the opposite direction. You stay the same place. Actually, there's a slight recoil on the back. But it can be cancelled. So, like, if you want to use the recoil, it's there, but if you don't, Hey, thanks for Got the Jack Scott. Let's go! No heal! Dead end. Thank you for the $5 super chat. I made a pledge. Love all the references. Game looks great. Reminds me of 2D Okami. Uh, really, don't forget to heal. <laughs> now I can heal! I'll, I'll, I'll do it now, and then I'll save. Oh, you beat him. I didn't even realize. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone, let's give a round of applause. Let's go. We're going to beat the first boss. Any death consequence? That's a great question. Uh, on Wait, uh, on PlayStation? I heard, I saw a bunch of people asking about PlayStation. We would love, again, the same thing goes for PlayStation. We would love to put it on all these consoles. Uh, PC first, and if there's enough hype... If you guys build enough hype, then we'll put it on PlayStation. No reason, I don't see any reason not to. Uh, death consequences. It's still being uh, polished out. Right now, you just go back to the last shrine you saved at. Good stuff. But we want to make it a little bit more interesting than that. And we have a few ideas, but... Alright, so what could this be here? Ah, uh, that looks like the dash if I ever saw one. I, you have received the Lotus Dash. Tap right, trigger, or left, shift. There you go. Now the re so uh, it, go ahead. Actually, I want to see if you find out organically. Uh, I'll just watch you for a little bit, see if there's like a little cool tech you could do with the dash. That is so pretty. Oh, I like those leaves. Yeah, they're like, li they're, they're like Lotus petals kind of animate and fall. That was always one of the first, that's like one of the first particle effects I made for the game. Actually, Bo wasn't originally supposed to be like Lotus flower based. Woo. Nice, oh, you're getting, yeah, see the dash opens a lot of movement in the air. Ah, I thought that was an opening right there. So there's one uh, room that I want you to check out. Yeah. Uh, I'll tease its location and see if you know how to get in. Um, because a lot of people miss it when they play the demo, just because it's hidden. <laughs> Fair but, enough. Uh, it's to the left. Okay. But it's kind of like a little bit of an arena type area. You don't get locked in, but I'd like to see you. I'd like oh, to see how I think, you handle I think, it. I think I, I know what you're talking about. I, I know. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah. You got in before. Uh, uh, no, I didn't get in. I... Uh, uh, what you call it? I remember. Oh, it was in that build we sent you. Maybe. Right. It's down here, isn't it? Uh, um, yeah. No, no, it's to the right. Uh, where those two blue. Oh, did you go to that area yet? Yeah, you did. I haven't been up here though. Oh, right, right, right. I wanted to get up there. Cat B says, Chris, any inspiration for the name Bo? Like, where did the name come from? Mm. Uh, the name came from Bow Staff. Uh, bow Staff is like a Japanese weapon. It's like a staff that they use to fight. Actually, Bow means staff in Japanese. I thought for sure that was it. I, I, that you ancient tablet. Room. Oh, well, there's another secret room. Okay. Gotta backtrack a little bit. Let's see if you could go hitless in here. If you could go hitless in here, I'd be super impressed. Um, just like work your way up from this in this room. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't have found that. 
Yeah, we, we tried incrementally making it a little bit more <laughs> visible and like obvious still people can't find it. Yeah, so it, it, it definitely, like, uh, after finding it, it makes sense, but we've only gone up in one other spot. And in that other spot, it also had that, that same kind of blue light. Well, I gave a challenge to, like, a lot of my alpha testers to go uh, floors lava in this room and kill on it. Oh, on there's my hit. It's really fun to do the, like, a Floor's Lava Challenge in this room. Oh, for sure. Oh. The water looks like Demon Slayer water. Very good catch. Direct reference uh, from some Demon Slayer stuff. But actually, Demon Slayer gets its water aesthetics from traditional Japanese artwork called Iku, Ikuyoe. So, so a lot of similarities you see are just because of general Ooh. Japanese aesthetics. I think that. Oh, oh, one more. Nice. Woo. I keep doing that. Yeah, those lanterns are a yokai called Chochin Obake. Yeah, they're just like they're like harmless little. Sweet, like, I think they're monsters that possess the lanterns. I am the king now. Hey, good, good job, man. Oh, it's able to do it healless, just not hitless. Yeah, which counts for something. I'll take it. I'll take it. I should, but I, I'm allowed to heal now. Let's see. Go Two, for it. three. Okay. So, chat, if you're just joining the stream, this is a new game that just released on Kickstarter today. I'll leave a, a, a link in chat. Um, really beautiful, good-looking game. It's a Metroidvania. Um, the Kickstarter is going to last for the whole month of February. Is that correct? Correct. Uh, so it's 30 days from today. So February is 28 days. It'll go to March 2nd, if I did the math right. So this is the area I was telling you about at the early, earlier in the playthrough where you have to use the, mm. the non-pogo reset. Heat tap. Dapper Dog Digital says, I'd recommend... Oh, I know Dapper Dog. D Dapper Dog's the dev of Biogun. Very cool game. Says, make your game work without the need to read dialogue. That is true. That's that's kind of like the dream, right? Uh, just make the Nate player naturally know what to do at every given moment. And we try to do that as much as we can, but you need dialogue sometimes. You can't escape it. So that's not necessarily true, but if you want to have like some complicated tech or something. Oh, this is back where we started. Right. Yeah. So. But now we can. Uh, not in the demo, but eventually you can backtrack there and there'll be some stuff. Actually, there's a lot of stuff that's planned, but we just couldn't include in the demo because it wouldn't make sense, uh, or it would connect to an area that doesn't exist, right? Makes sense. It's the end of the demo. Perhaps it's time to start believing. What wonders lay beyond this trivial gap? I foresee raging waters, a bustling metropolis, origami fever dreams in an omnipresent looming darkness but alas the kami are still developing it and even they need a helping hand every now and then consider contributing to help the konami kickstarter this game and be a part of the creation of this world there you go very awesome i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and close the game just because i'll share the link but then that way uh then we won't be lagging so much Let's see. And we'll, we'll get ourselves out of that. Uh, Righty. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, what, 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 cinematic mode. There we go. This was made with C sharp, not C++. C sharp and Unity. And we'll put up.
the Kickstarter page. Oh, we can we can put the 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 music. If you guys haven't already heard the music, it is so good. Well, I mean, you obviously heard at least some of it, but all of these tracks aren't in weren't in the demo, were they? Uh, one of them was the Crimson Bamboo played, uh, but all the all the rest are from different areas of the game. Oop, that's a little loud. How me how do I bring that down just a little bit? Is there a is there a volume on here? Oh yeah, there's no volume slider on those. I never noticed. <laughs> Huh. Come on, I think SoundCloud. if I, I think if I go to SoundCloud, it will do it. There's no, there's got to be a volume slider. Um. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to turn you down. It's actually, kind of insane that there's not a volume slider. Yeah. Right. I, I never noticed before. <laughs> but you'd think SoundCloud would have it. Tater top. Looks promising. Can't wait to see it all polished. Yeah, we're, we're working hard on it every day. Dead end. Chris, loved all the references. Game looks great. Our game's going to be jam-packed with Easter eggs and references. I'm a huge anime nerd. I'm a huge candy gaming nerd, so... Let me know if the music's too loud. The music is absolutely beautiful. Like, this... Laps. Just yeah, saying. When I, first heard, when I first heard Asahi, which is the name of the song, I was, my jaw was on the floor. I'm like, man, where did this come from? Yeah, my composer has a special brain. Yeah, so you guys can't hear. Um, sorry, I'm gonna pause the music. It's it's too loud versus your voice, so I want you to be. Oh, talk. sorry about that. Let's see. There All go. good. God, SoundCloud needs to get on their volume slider game. Yeah. Game. The music is heavily inspired by like uh, Joe Hisaishi, who composes most of the Studio Ghibli movies, and Xenoblade Chronicles, Monster Hunter Rise. Um, the composer would know more because he he wrote the music. Um, but I, I wanted it to feel very Japanese, but also get like like traditional Japanese, but very modern at the same time and an epic. Let's see. Somebody's asking, uh, where, where'd, where'd you go? Uh, Shashua was asking about different weapons, right? I know you've answered that one before, but. Right. So the earring turns into different weapons, like a hammer. You got your ground smash with the hammer. You got a, like a grappling gun, similar to the ODM gear and attack on Titan. Um, God, I'm blanking right now. <laughs> uh, you can also use like the staff for different movie movement abilities. We're like we're playing around with like a pole vaulting type type mechanic. Ah, I found the music slider, the volume slider. You found the slider. Oh, there it is. Oh, but that's it's playing something else though. Oh, it's like a, there's a different song called Megumi, I guess. Yeah, this is not a. What if I click into this? There you go. There you go. Is it playing it? Oh, I turned my music way down. Oh, yeah. Uh, Chris needs to get on the lo fi boat. Oh, I'm a huge lo fi fan. And that's actually something that Relia is doing now and I'm like oh so I good really was inspired by like you to do a quote unquote bofi album yeah do that please dude we're thinking of putting that as a stretch goal it's either that or like a chip tunes thing or maybe both you know I never know uh but yeah like a bofi album where we like just remix these things and oh man I can see it being amazing some of it it already like this is already essentially lo-fi like this is yeah it's this kind is of vibe it. right yeah so i good. think it'd be it'd take like a day for a good uh lo-fi artist to kind of hash it out and like make this amazing yeah make it the doom soundtrack oh man so good if you guys have more questions please bring them up right now right now's the time we're 100 percent focused on live chat so if you have Mind if I take a, a, a pee break real quick <laughs> no i'm asking uh, for questions you cannot go pee now yeah of course of course yeah yeah 
I've been holding it since the boss. <laughs> yeah, it sounds good. Oh man, chat. How much do you guys like this when we when we do uh, interviews with devs and uh, play new games and stuff like that? Is let me know. Is this interesting? Do you like this content? Uh, what is Kickstarter? Kickstarter. Here's a link to it. Is a platform that allows uh, people to launch a project. So right now they their goal, specifically for Bo, is to raise thirty five thousand dollars. So then that way they can afford to uh, develop, continue to develop Bo and release this game. And so the whole the whole thing is that if they can if they can reach the goal, <clears throat> they they'll then have enough money to be able to uh, fund paying for the game. Because otherwise, you got some people who maybe they have a day job, or they have they just have bills to pay, and they can't develop the game first and then make money on the back end by selling the game. They are looking for your help to to kickstart the campaign, so then that way they can go full time into development and uh, just make a better game and so d this this does a couple of things one it gives them a chance to see like what is the feedback like people can say hey the game looks great so far the art looks great this that and the other but it's different when people will actually pay you money to do the thing that you want to do so already they've got almost 300 backers um backing this uh backing their game and it just lets them know that it 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 passes the proof of concept, right? They can now go beyond saying, okay, they don't have to worry about will people be interested in this game? They already know that people are going to be interested in this game and they're already putting their, their money behind it. So that's, uh, that's really huge. Um, let's see if I can't find, uh, what one? Oh, this one, this song is so good. Uh, play this one. Yeah, Kickstarter's opening a lot of cool doors for us. I think like it's all about building the community and Kickstarter helps gather a huge community and Definitely. Uh it's it I really want to build the game with the community. So I mean our Discord's already given us so many great ideas and like naming enemies and uh just the creativity is it is 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 like something that can't just be accomplished with my own brain. It's like a collaborative effort. Yeah. Uh, Blunty says, I like uh, behind the scenes stuff, interviews, storyboards, you know, bonus DVD content stuff. I'm like, yes, that, that's what I'm saying. So with the art book, hopefully we'll get we'll get some of those like early sketches and or, or and even stuff. Even cut content is super interesting, too. Right. Oh, big time. Like, I, I mean, one of my favorite art books of all time is the Okami art book. And oh, my God, that thing is a, it's super expensive, but. Oh, it's just gorgeous, and it makes you see the game in a new way and appreciate it in a way that you never would have unless you knew all the work that was put on it, all the concept stuff, all the stuff that didn't make it, you know. Let's see. Uh, game looks fantastic, OST 2. How many bosses are you planning on having? That's a good question. Um, right now, we have, like, four bosses, like, pretty much ironed out. Uh, I would love to have as many as possible. Again, it's going to depend on how uh, we're going to... After we complete the Kickstarter, we're going to have a meeting about scope, which just means how big how big is the game going to be, and we're going to decide. Yeah. Because um, the you know the money is... The money decides. Yeah, um, for sure. It It's... Because it, then it depends on... Depending on how much you guys are able to raise, it that determines whether or not you hire more people... And if you hire more exactly. people, that's going to, one, it takes some of the load off of you guys, but it also burns the money faster. It, uh, accounting term, you've, you've got a runway is how much how much money you can afford for how long and burn is how quickly you're you're spending that money, right? Exactly. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, money runs runs everything, so. Uh, let's see. How many, uh, let's see. What is a planned release date, full game, not demo? Uh, we're shooting for late, uh, uh, late 2023. Very cool. Any good question about the charm? Is there a okay. charm-like system? Ooh, good question. Yeah. Um. So our, our games, I guess, what would be the equivalent of a charm, like a charm system from Hollow Knight, would be our Dharma system, which are these little dolls that paper dolls that follow you. Some of you oh. might know what a Dharma doll is. Uh, 
They're those red spherical dolls with beards from Japanese culture. And the idea with the Adharma doll is like they're, they're t they have two eyes and they're usually blank when you get them. Oh yeah, do a Google search to show them. Um, when you first okay. get the Dharma doll, they don't have pupils in their eyes. So so that one's a pupilless. And the idea is like when you get the Dharma doll, you make a goal and you fill in one of the eyes. And then you don't fill in the other eye until you complete the goal. So Interesting. The Dharma system in our game is the perk system. So you'll collect these Dharmas that kind of follow you around. And they, they follow you upgraded. around until you finish your goal. Well, even past finishing the goal. That's the idea right now, anyway. And uh, so you, well, you're given them by, you're given them, or sorry, they're given to you by NPCs. And they give you a goal to complete. Uh, and a per initial perk. And once you complete that goal and or quest, you get to fill in the other eye and the perk gets upgraded. Is it usually yeah, a, a great goal? Or could, it, or could it also be a, uh, a wish? Oh, like in, in, in the world of Bo or in the world like... In the real world. Actually, it's a good question. I think it's... I think it could be either or, but mostly goals. I think the idea is like... You have it on your mantle, and it's like giving you the stink eye until you finish your goal. That's funny. Yeah, I feel like I feel like that's that's the reason they do it, but I might be wrong. That's just my theory. There we go. Skelly Cats, pretty sure Bo's head is a Kitsune fox mask. Yeah, it's based off a of Kitsune fox mask. However, Bo is not a fox; just looks like a fox. I really like foxes, so. We go throw this on repeat. Let's see. Were there any Easter eggs or secrets we missed? Ooh, in the demo, did we miss anything? Um. Well, we okay. There was the the One Piece reference, the Celeste reference, the Demon Slayer reference. Mm, well, the the, the Gasha Dorokuro, Dokuro enemy, the giant skeleton, is like a Godzilla and a Attack on Titan reference, sort of. Uh. Think. Are there any other ones? I don't think so, but there will be plenty in the rest of the game. I'm all about that. So, and I, 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 I always love that in games. Like, oh, it's the best when you find an Easter egg or or something like a reference from another game. I love it. Yeah. So I'm gonna employ that a lot. So if you guys want to play the demo, it sounds like you'll have a decent shot of it if you join the discord so make sure to join that let's see do i have i can pull that up for you is... right we're we're looking for alpha testers for a short a shorter period of time maybe like another month and then uh, there's also a beta tier on our kickstarter and you'll have beta access throughout the entire development oh that's cool and if you have beta access, uh, there's also an achievement, um, like you can, an achievement tier on our Kickstarter where you can like create an achievement for our game. And uh, and if you have beta access, we're gonna be building the game together in our Discord, so you can join and let us know what you think. You think one mechanic sucks or it could be tweaked? We'll we'll definitely listen to you and take all your feedback. How many distinct areas are you looking to have in the full game? Uh, I'm sorry, how many areas? Yeah. Uh, let's see. One, two. I should know this offhand. I can count real quick. One, two, three. Eight areas. Nice. With a potential ninth. I would love to do a ninth. I have like a really cool idea. But yeah, it's again, it's all about the scope and keeping things manageable for our small team. Um, yeah. But, yeah. Let's see. Uh, playable on MacBook? Yeah. Uh, I don't think the alpha runs on MacBook. We actually haven't checked because everyone was had a PC in our alpha test. Uh, but yeah, eventually. We'll make sure it runs smoothly on pretty much every platform if there's demand. Are the alpha signups still available through Linktree? You? I think it's through your Linktree. 
I should probably remove that link because I, I just uh, after we got our initial testers, I kind of just stopped looking at that to yeah. be honest. Um, but but we I I would love to take another look at that list and uh, based on the criteria that that survey has, like I would love to onboard some more people because there are a lot of people who kind of didn't end up giving us feedback. Hmm. Yeah, it's right at the bottom there. Look at that link tree. It's just getting bigger and bigger by the day. Yeah, there's so many. There's so many different things, right? Insane. I, I hate it. <laughs> we just got a Reddit. Last oh, night, really? someone made a Reddit. Yeah, I oh, found that's it. so cool. Like, it's like, who made this? Yeah, um, and that's that's the best thing is that the the community. Uh, yeah, it, it's good to just have the community lead stuff like that, right? Yeah, it, it like it's its own breathing living thing that you have no control over. Let's see, would there be a uh, a rival battle type boss? Uh, like oh, you mean like Hornet kind of? Uh, yeah, like uh, yeah, like maybe like a reoccurring enemy that ends up being like your, uh, I don't know, your your the blue or red or whatever in Pokemon or, uh, I don't um, know, whatever. Uh, Team well, Rocket. Yeah, I saw Asahi, the the character in that yellow sunflower cloak. In the big from the beginning of the game, yeah, he's kind of recurring a character that kind of is like your antagonist a little bit. Yeah, it, it did seem like they were, I don't know, making fun of you a little bit or yeah. mess, messing with you a little bit. Yeah, he's a little bit ob obnoxious, but he, you know, maybe you'll grow to like him. Bucks is there's a Discord, yeah. Let's see, can I copy? Link? There's a big fat Discord here. Oh, I got him. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I just had it right in front of me. Uh, yeah, so good. So good. Uh, I think we are going to wrap things up here and uh, and end the stream. I want to be respectful of your time. It, yeah, if you guys don't know, what what country are you out in again right now? Um, I live in Thailand. Thailand. So it's like, what, 2.30 in the morning now? Yeah, two. Well, yeah, 2.30 a.m. Yeah. It's all good. I expected to stay up late tonight just because we launched the Kickstarter and I... And I was really excited to do this stream, so like I would have stayed up till ten, like five a.m. Yeah. Anyways, just just being hyped on it, right? So. Yeah. Oh, so good, so good. What are we at? Is that eighteen thousand? Almost there. Almost at eighteen k. Dang. Yeah, there it's shocking. Like, never expected all this support. So thank you, everyone who said sent like positive messages in the chat today, and. I understand a lot of you donated, so wow. Yes, like, I'm over. I'm overwhelmed today. And if I, you I'm can share the, uh, how do I share copy link? If you're on Twitter, go ahead and uh, uh, retweet their their live Kickstarter thing. So even if you can't support with like paying for the Kickstarter, just even just sharing it goes a super long way um, to yep. helping a project become successful. So. Go, go talk about it. Spread the good word if you thought the demo looked cool. Right, yeah. It helps a lot. Like, all the retweets and shares. Like, we wouldn't have grown without Twitter. Like, no one would know about our game without Twitter and retweets, so. Exactly. All right. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. Thank you so much for coming on. We're going to end the live stream here. Um, and I will see you all. If you guys don't know, I live stream every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And uh, I'm, I'm just glad to be here with you all. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you more soon. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.